If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, but let's get right to it. Chewbacca will kill Kylo Ren in episode nine. Now, if J.J. Abrams actually pulls this out of the mystery box, it's gonna make fans extremely happy, okay? First of all, Chewbacca had a life debt to Han. Uh, and we all know this through all the lore and the films and even reinforced in the movie Solo, where Han helps Chewbacca escape being enslaved and and or untimely death at the hands of the Empire and uh, is in life debt to uh, Han. So when Han Solo in The Force Awakens was on that extension bridge arguing back and forth with uh, Kylo Ren and Kylo Ren decided to run him through, Chewbacca yelled out a scream, a roar. And then, you know, that crossbow, he didn't think, he didn't, he didn't even take him a, a second to turn that thing and shoot Kylo Ren in the hip. Now, from that height and that trajectory, obviously Chewbacca hit him in the hip and didn't get the kill shot. But if he could have, he would have got the kill shot. But then he had to defend himself against First Order Stormtroopers and and then blow the place. So Chewbacca did not hesitate to shoot Ben Solo. Not one bit. So this is what I'm thinking is going to happen. There's going to be that big time ultimate lightsaber battle between Rey and Kylo. And then what's going to happen is Rey will refuse to strike him down because she believes in her heart, like Luke Skywalker did, that she can turn him back and that he can become good again, that she's felt the conflict within him. But instead of rehashing Return of the Jedi, I think uh, the ultimate evil and the dark side of the force will completely consume Kylo Ren. His eyes will turn crazy with the contact lenses, orange and blood red. And she will leave him wounded, but she will not strike him down and kill him. Here comes Chewbacca, because again, episode nine will close out the Skywalker saga. So this is what I think will happen. Ben Solo might be hanging on to some rafter or to an extension bridge or something or wounded and Chewbacca will literally either walk up and and when when Kylo Ren reaches out to Chewbacca knowing their history together knowing he was there at his birth and all that other kind of good warm feely stuff you think well maybe it's Chewbacca that will turn Kylo back to the light and Chewbacca decides to slowly squish with his giant foot, a hand that's holding on to something, or just kind of give him that last nudge off of a cliff or something and ultimately kill Kylo Ren almost in the same manner that Han fell down into that shaft uh, in The Force Awakens. Now, I know it's a stretch, but the one thing that gets me about this whole thing is the revenge kind of aspect. We don't know Wookiees, you know, they're supposed to be a peaceful species, but they all seem like warriors. Um, when you go back to uh, uh, Revenge of the Sith, they're all warriors fighting on Kashyyyk to defend themselves. And uh, they're all in warrior garb and they're strong, uh, massive creatures. What if they just, and, and if Wookiees are known to pull arms out of their sockets, is it really beyond comprehension? And look, in The Last uh, Jedi, <laughs> I hate talking about it, but Chewbacca didn't think twice about chewing on a Porg, even when a Porg was looking at him crying. He was like, Mrah, Mrah, you know? And then he turns, and we know when they cut away from the camera, Chewbacca ate that damn Porg, okay? He ate him, he was hungry. He's, he ate humans and other creatures in Solo when he was enslaved. That's why they threw Han in the pit, so. Look, Chewbacca will be the linchpin in episode nine. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It's just my theory, but that split second reaction to shoot Kylo Ren with his crossbow without hesitation leads me to believe he will ultimately kill Kylo Ren, leaving Rey not the decision to have done it, which will make everyone happy that Rey didn't go there, but everyone will cheer that Chewbacca avenged Han Solo's death. That's it. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, share it. Do you think my Chewbacca theory is accurate? Let's talk about it in the comments section and we'll see you on the next video.